springtime. We wake up, Alexa tells us it's gonna be thunderstorms all day. You look outside, I think we can fly. I'm here with my favorite warbird currently, at least, uh, eh, yeah, yeah, favorite warbird, 6S Jet Twin 64 millimeter EDF. This thing has retracts, flaps, or ordinances that come on and off. You can just slide these puppies on and off. We show you guys how to do that in some of our other videos. It flies on rails. It is one of the best performing warbirds I've ever had my hands on. You maybe wouldn't think that looking at it, how much detail work is in this. A lot of times the planes that have more detail work kind of don't fly as well, at least in my experience in the past. This on the other hand, just flies so perfectly. I'm gonna fly it for fun today, and while it's in the air, I'm gonna try to talk my wife into flying it, maybe the next <laughs> video. I keep telling her how easy this puppy is to fly, and before we put it in the air, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below. Who has picked one of these up? What do you think? Do you, do you go along with what I'm saying, how it flies perfectly on rails? If you have questions, let us know. We'll do our best to answer your questions. I know this puppy's back in stock very recently. They sold out after they got the first shipment in. It's back in stock, which is why we wanted to jump in front of the camera again and let you guys know how awesome of a plane this is. If you're looking to have a spring, summer, fall season of flying, this needs to be in your collection. Let's go have fun. Taxi's well, I got it down on the runway. This is the direction the wind is coming in, so we're just going to full throttle, half flaps, takes right off, no problem. Wow. I love this thing. Let's see, I've got my flap switch reversed, I believe. Uh -oh. It should be flaps <laughs> up. Yeah, I just haven't taken the time to switch that around. It actually is the correct way out of the box. I prefer reversing it. It just makes more sense to me. Now here's landing gear up. And what a beautiful plane. We have safe on right now in this wind. We're just keeping it nice and steady smooth. And on the next pass, we'll go by full throttle. We'll give you guys a couple full throttle passes. Then I'll turn safe off and we'll just have some fun. So here we go, a nice low, fast. There's full throttle. Over 100 miles an hour, this jet. Climb it up, bank it around. And we'll bring it in with the wind. Full throttle coming in this way, out of that bank. Here we go. Missed that one. <laughs> Definitely missed that one. It is fun to fly. That was pretty close and fast. We'll do one more fast flyby and then we'll kick safe off out over Death Valley. Here's full throttle. Nosing into the wind. Probably a, maybe close to 10 miles an hour wind. All right, zoomed out on that one. <laughs> Safe is off, which is not good to do on a bank, but that's okay. We'll give it a nice roll or two out there over Death Valley. We'll come in this way with a loop. This thing just flies so perfectly on rails. It is a joy to fly. Let's see, I, I can't remember how well it flies inverted. We'll figure that out really fast. Not bad. Can we do an outside loop? A nice wide one, yes. And I'm gonna turn safe on because I just flew into the, wind, into the <laughs> sun behind it. <laughs> so Happens. Even a person that flies multiple times a week, myself, I love taking advantage of safe technology. I'm gonna go full flaps with safe on and show you guys the speed difference on this plane. It's really amazing. Abby calls this spaceship mode on my 6S jets that it's have the flaps. the mother, mothership mode. Yeah, look at this. So we were going 100 miles an hour down to, what is this, 10 miles an hour? Isn't that awesome? Yeah. That a jet can do that? We're gonna turn the flaps off. When I straighten out, level out over Death Valley, I'll kick safe back off. And we're gonna go into a nice wide loop. Abby, you ready? Yep. Just about three fourths throttle or so. Ease off on the juice and finish that loop. This, if you're gonna fly a Warbird, is the Warbird of 2020. I still love my Era Cobra though. If you want a more old school with safe off here, nice slow pass. If you want an older World War II bird, I still say the Era Cobra is the way to go. If you want something that just flies true and on rails, but if you want a little bit more modern of an airplane, going with the jet thing, the jet warbird, this is the way to go. It is just sweet. Let's hit that safe on so we can get it nice and low. Wow. A inches off the ground, maybe a foot or so. Bring it in this way. I would make a full point. throttle as low as you could go. That could be a potentially amazing be, crash. Could be an amazing crash. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? If I did happen to do that on this jet, let's just do some reverse patterns here. I would confidently pick up all the pieces and at least make an effort to put it back together. Even if there was a foam explosion, I'd get the hot glue back out and uh, yeah, I'm sure it would fly again. I mean, 
foam is so crazy these days. It, it used to not be, but now, uh, even if it does break, it just gets put back together so easily. What a beautiful plant. We'll turn the safe off, and we'll use a little rudder input on this one. I like to fly this one pretty scale, you know? It just looks so good in the air. I like to fly it how I would imagine one of these puppies coming in and <laughs> I feel like we should name this pilot Tom because I feel like Tom Cruise would fly this. Yeah. I don't know if he f what he flies in the movie. I think this pilot should be named Bert, honestly. Bert. That's yeah. what well, that works. We can yeah. call him Bert. So we are now naming our pilots. If you guys can come up with a name that's better than Bert or Tom. Or Tom. I'd love to hear that from you in the comments below. We have Norman that flies the crop duster. We have Elmer. I was just looking at Norman today. What does Elmer fly? Elmer, Elmer flies the Cherokee. That's right. And now we have, we'll call him Tom Burt for now. This is Tom Burt flying the <laughs> A-10. Let's go with landing gear down. What a beautiful pass that is there. And we'll hit the flaps with nose into the wind. I'll probably let a couple of the other guys that are up here at the field fly in between my flights. Maybe we'll get a couple quick shots of those, possibly. And um, then we'll put this back in the air for another flight. So that's a five minute timer I have set. Five minutes on this puppy, no problem. There's zero throttle. I'm gonna have to throttle up some to get it closer to us because of this wind. And very just nice. every that single was time. So smooth. I every just, time. And this is I'm why blown I want away you to fly about this. it every time. Look at landings. that beautiful jet. It just sounds good too. Yeah, it does. Awesome. Abby uh, kind of complimented the slow flap movement there. You guys see how nice and slow that looks? You can do that with any airplane. I, I programmed it in with my DX8. Yeah, usually is, Nate's go boom, 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 yeah, boom, but this time it. I don't know. Well, I like it, it looks nice because it looks more scale and everything, right. but also it functions well because then if you do throw your flaps in the air, it doesn't jerk the plane. It's a more fluid motion. So here we go. Let's just get this in the air. Full throttle. It does really well on grass field, um, even with those tiny wheels. And you know, the grass, we've had shorter grass. I mean, it's really, really nice grass, but it has been shorter before. So. I'm sure this would be amazing on asphalt, which I have not done yet. Landing gear is going up. Just a nice slow pass. I mean, can you guys believe that this thing is cooking? For me, it doesn't look like it's going 100 miles an hour, but I've seen it. I've seen it clocked. It's pushing 100 miles an hour. Right there. It just doesn't feel like 100 to me. I don't know why. Nice 6S battery though. Here we go, there's full throttle. Let's bring it in. I love those fast, low passes. If I stayed I zoomed know. in the whole time, it would look a lot faster. Here, I'll try to I'll try to clock it like this. Yeah, go. Okay, I'll go a little farther out for you. Like right on the edge of that valley. I'm gonna try to stay zoomed okay, in. Go, go. Yeah, see, it's that like impossible kind of zoomed in. Let's do one more for you. More predictable path. Do that halfway. To really get that 100 mile an hour shot. Here we go. Right. So, Nate's got a motorcycle watching him. This thing. Look at this. So that's the revving. How's that? That was better, right? Yeah, this is a head turner. Every time I get it out of the field, if there's someone here, social distancing, of course, <laughs> they, uh, they love it because I love it. It's awesome. It's just a really sweet plane. It's, it's been really cool. Um, I hate the whole social distancing thing, but people have been driving by. I went full flaps here. We're gonna kind of hit the air brakes. Look at that. I do like when a person stops in the road to watch the jets fly. I mean, people would do that every once in a while, but now it's like a lot more because people loops. are like out, you know, enjoying the day in their car. We're gonna do a loop. So it's cool to see them stop. I love the big wide loops you can do on this. It just has so much climbing power. Let's climb right here. Nice and far out. We can even rotate while climbing. We'll bring it around like this. Here we go. I'm gonna hit safe. I got a little disoriented out there because I was really far away. It honestly it looked like, like you got pushed or pushed upside down. Yeah. yeah. Did you? Is that what happened? It felt like it got pushed back. Somewhere. It looked like your plane like split in half no. on my screen. I wasn't sure <laughs> which way it was facing, so I just, you know what? You have safe. You use safe. Why not? So there, I'm out of safe, obviously. And there's a full throttle dive. <laughs> Here we go. Full throttle. We'll climb it fast. 
using my rudder to stay straight. Now we're going to use the rudder to pitch it over there, which is kind of crazy. There's a zero throttle, and I'm going to let it glide past quietly. Whew. Oh my gosh, <laughs> you thought you had more room, didn't you? I did, yeah. <laughs> See, that's the beauty of Abby being my camera person. She she knows what to, she knows like what's in my mind. <laughs> Here's zero throttle. You ready? Zero throttle. Sounds oh, so good. Safe off. Wow. Zero throttle. No flaps. No landing gear. Yeah, this thing is just awesome. I love the lights on it too. We don't really talk about the lights on this thing very much, but they look great. I can see them during the day. I know that you guys watching the video probably can't see them right now. Maybe you saw that green light on that path. <laughs> Maybe, let's go safe on. I just feel so much more confident with safe when I do my full throttle low passes. I'm telling you, if you have the technology, oh, see I, I bumped up a hair and it didn't go low. <laughs> if you have the technology, use the technology we we love it we love it i could do a full flight on this thing with safe off why would i want to you're at four and a half ish okay, minutes well, let's get the landing gear down on this pass okay landing gear came down and we'll do the flaps at half the flaps at full that flyby was nate checking to make sure all three wheels came down yep Yep. You should always do that. I try to, yeah. If I can't see that the wheels are down, it's very rare that they'd ever get jammed, but you, you know, definitely want to check them yeah. before you land. I've never had a bad landing on this yet. Consistently, <laughs> most consistently, one of the best planes to land in the lineup. Uh, Look we at did, this thing. You did lose a little piece of that rocket right there. I did. We're trying yeah. to figure out if that happened during a flight or transportation. If, yeah, I bet transportation. Yeah. So for me, in my experience, Warbirds tend to be the better looking plane, but the one that is maybe a little less fun to fly than your trainer or your sporty plane. But with this plane, it's a very different experience. This is right up there as one of my favorite planes to bring to the field and fly for fun. And it just so happens to look amazing too. I'm, I'm telling you right now, from the experience of Warbirds that I have, I couldn't put a number on it. If I had to guess maybe 20 or 30 or so warbirds, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> this has gotta be my favorite one to fly. The Aero Cobra, probably a very, very close second place as far as fun to fly goes. But if, you, if you're going with looks factored into it, this takes the cake. And then followed up by a wide variety of P-51s after that. I'm trying to think if there's any I'm missing. Probably one or two out there that's been a while, but as far as 2020 goes, this is where it's at. If you're looking for a Warbird to add to your collection, maybe you wanna try something new, you don't own any EDFs, trust me, it's amazing, it's fun, it's beautiful, it's a head turner. You're gonna love flying it every single time, whether you're full throttle clocking it by, or you're just gliding by with flaps on, and you're just practicing your perfect landings every time. This thing is so easy to land, it's just awesome. Probably the next time I fly it, it's just gonna blow up on my landing, right? That's how that goes. As long as we're filming. <laughs> Super grateful for today, this break in the weather. We were not supposed to have good weather today. Seems like that's what we've been saying in every video for the last week or Spring so. Springtime. Springtime, that's right. And for that, I thank God. I thank God for getting us out here today and just having an amazing experience and getting to share that with you guys. I also wanna say a huge thanks to our patron supporters because without you guys, we just could not do what we do. We couldn't keep the fuel in the tanks, the batteries charged and food in the belly. I've been saying that a lot. I like saying that, it's fun. But it's true, you guys really do help keep us going in every sense of the word. And for that, we thank you from the bottom of our hearts. The names that are scrolling by right about now are some of our top tier patron supporters. And you guys, you know you're amazing. We thank you so much. Before you click away, I'd love for you guys to check out my maiden flight of this airplane. I'm kind of curious myself to know if I've progressed all that much from the maiden flight or if it's just that easy on the first flight. Check out the maiden. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.